Hey there, Ben Howard coming to you with this month's real estate market report, giving you all of the information you need about buying and selling homes here in North Texas. Well, we have all the numbers through February now, and pretty soon we'll be coming out with the numbers through March, and we see this continuing very strong seller's market. We see that houses are uh, going way above the asking. I know for the most part, realtors, we advise our clients, put the house on the market for whatever the other houses in the neighborhood that are similar have sold for and let the market push it forward. And we're actually gonna jump right into the numbers here. Uh, we're looking this month at uh, three different places in the whole MLS together. So we're looking at my hometown, Flower Mound, we have Grand Prairie, and we have Salina. So as we go through, look at this first slide. This is telling us how much over asking price uh, houses are closing at. This is in the month of February, and I'm fairly sure it's more in the month of March. You can see Grand Prairie, they're kind of the low dog. You know, the whole MLS is lower than that. But Grand Prairie only at about 102%. But you can see here in Flower Mound and up in Salina, almost 7% over asking. So if you're looking at a $300,000 house, I mean, you're gonna have to give, what, $35,000 over that. No, no, I can't do the math on that. $21,000 over asking, so forgive my uh, math on that. So just be aware that if you're looking at getting a house right now, a couple of things that, have, that will come into play, you're gonna have to probably get over asking unless it's been on the market for a little bit, in which case there are probably a few issues with it. But then the appraiser, that's the goon that the lender sends out to make sure the house is worth what uh, you're offering for it. If it comes in below that value, you're gonna have to be prepared to put that cash down on the house. So if you're, if you're planning on putting a large chunk of cash down, like you're selling a house on it, it may not be an issue for you at all. But if you're looking at doing only a minimum 3% or 5% down, like some people are doing, and you don't have a lot of cash back, you may need to talk to your lender about getting some down payment assistance, which can help. Uh, well, it won't help, but it's def definitely going to affect your interest rate. It'll jerk those up a little bit here. Well, let's talk about what this trend has done for the sales price. You can see as we're going along here, the top two numbers, the blue one again, Flower Mound, which has been duking it out with Salina for all these years. And uh, in this month, I'm happy to say that well, I don't know, I'm happy to say we came out on top, Flower Mound. But you can see for both of those, we're looking in the five seventy-five to six hundred thousand dollars range, average. So this is the average price on here. Oh, the, sorry, the median price. So the one if you had, this is the cheapest, this is the most expensive, the one that's in the middle there. So that's what we're looking at for these for those areas. If we look down, really Grand Prairie is right on this month with the MLS average. Um, just $356,000 is about what it is on average. They are continuing up, but you can see some of those are petering off a little bit here, which is exactly what we would want to see. You can see where we had that, the trend, which is a little more aggressive than normal that have happened in these communities. Hey, let's look now at the months of inventory. This is the one that tells you if it's a seller's market or a buyer's market below four, that's when it's a uh, seller's market and above that that's when it's a buyer's market and we are still well below we creeped up a little bit here in the middle of the year last year and hopefully it'll go that way as more listings come on the market but we are still below one month inventory so if no more houses came on the market this is how long it would take to sell all of those houses that's why right now sellers are very picky with their offers because they know that they've got a bunch of uh, buyers that are out there. So if they don't like one offer, they're gonna take another one. If they don't get one they want, they're just going to wait because there's a whole line of people waiting to get in and buy that house. Now, what is the only thing that's gonna fix that? Well, it's gonna be new listings coming on. And you can see if we look at this time of year, this is normally where it starts to creep up. And that still may be the case for us. Remember, this is only through the end of February. So the March numbers, they come in. Hopefully we'll see this start to trend up. But this time of year is when we normally have the smallest amount of listings on, new listings coming on. Because once we hit spring break, which is now April, May, June, we should see these numbers go up. Now, all of this, there's not going to be any quick fix to it but that will be the eventual fix to it. When new houses come on the market, that way they'll be 
more and maybe not enough for all of the buyers who want to buy right now with so many folks coming into town and those who waited during COVID, but there'll be more on the market so there'll be less buyers for each property, which means sellers will not be able to be quite as picky about it and the prices may level out a little bit. I don't think it's gonna happen for uh, two, three years if we don't get a leveling out. Um, I still believe that it's probably a correction we're becoming a more livable uh, metro, uh, suburban area to live in now, or an urban area to live in, where the folks from West Coast and the East Coast are coming out now and saying Dallas is really a place where I could live. So it's kind of pushing the prices toward those areas. Hey, well, I'm Ben Howard. Any questions at all? Remember, if you're listing, we have the, some of those things that nobody else does. We'll take care of, obviously, your photography, your marketing, your staging, all that. We'll pay for and set up your deep clean for the house and send you out to our private lake house. So if there's anything we can do, if there's some way we could fight for that uh, listing of yours, hey, we'd love to help sell that house. We get them sold for a great amount as well. But this is Ben Howard. Set me up down below if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns. You know where I am. I'll talk to you soon.